What is up, viewer out there watching this video? Arx back here. Bring this time some more Drive Club. This time, I am using a hypercar. This was one of the cars that I believe I was able to get on the PlayStation Store for free. Uh, there are actually quite a few DLC cars that are available on the PS Store, and I was very satisfied when I opened up the add-ons for Drive Club, and I was like, oh my gosh, look at all this free stuff. But, uh, this right here is the Remac Automobile Concept Underscore 1. I looked up this car online and I did some research on it. It was like, oh, the, you can adjust the four wheels individually and there's like like a very low center of gravity and all that. And I was looking at that like, what the hell? This thing probably costs a fortune and I bet it I bet it does. But in this game, Drive Club right here, I am using it in, uh, what is it, uh, the Sierra Desert, I believe? I have, I have no idea where we are. I think it's like Chile or something. But... One thing special about this race was that I actually wanted to test my driving skills. So what I did was I changed the difficulty from semi-pro all the way to legendary. Legendary is the toughest difficulty in the game. And I decided to race a few races with it. And on here on this specific track, I was like, you know what? I want to get the best of the, of the best. I want to get the best computer AI available. So I decided to choose a hypercar. And I changed the, um, the, the classes for all the other vehicles to hypercars. I made sure that all the opponents chose hypercars. So basically what we're getting here is the hardest computer AI available using the best cars in the game. So that's going to be something that's like you got to bring your A game like a rocks. You got to bring your A game. And that's what I did here. This is just an exhibition, uh, exhibition race. This is just single player. This is just, you know, free race, whatever it's called. But I wanted to test my abilities against the computer. I wanted to see how well I stack up against the legendary computer AI. And honestly, I'm very proud of this race. You know, right before this race started, I threw on the Acceleracers soundtrack. I started listening to those songs from those Hot Wheels movies from 2005 or 6 or whenever it was. And got the blood pumping, got the wheels turning, got the gears moving, got the horsepower starting to... I have no idea where I'm going with this, but anyways, it pumped me up. Got me in that racing mood, and right here in the last lap, I'm second place. Which, I gotta admit, is pretty good. Not all the races were as good as this one. Like, there are a few races on, um, against the legendary opponents where I finished, like, second last and all that. But I think that really depends on the track. And how long you get to race, because some races, you know, if you race for like a lap, you're not going to have enough time to catch up to first place against these computers, because they're just pretty good. They're just that good. They're just good. But here we had a few laps, and uh, I had some luck on my side, honestly. Right here, I'm just saying to myself, don't mess up, don't mess up, use the Apex, and do everything that Vert Wheeler did in the first Accelerators movie. Because that's good. That's good. And if you do that, you're gonna win the race. Just like you do right here. You actually win by quite a bit, actually. So, yeah. That was this pointless video. Uh, the Automobile Concept 1. You should get that car. It's really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for Boston. Keep your like, last week, last night, gaming. And, bye. <laughs>